on guys? I'm Elliot Clark, AKA apartment bartender here at WSWA 76. Here with Troy Clark. I'm a little biased. I really like his last name. Um, <laughs> I ran into Troy the first day I was here wandering around the, the convention and we talked a little bit. You told me that you had something up your sleeve, you know, something that you're going to bring out for the Iron Mixologist competition. And clearly you did because you are wearing some medals around your neck. I'm going to let you take it away. Tell us about what drink you made and, and also congrats, huge Thank congrats so on doing that. Thank so yeah, you, tell us about this so, beautiful uh, drink. So Iron Mixology gets some secret ingredients you don't know what you're going to walk into, right? right. So uh, we had uh, berries, mixed berries, um, cilantro, and apples. So, okay. And you got to use all the ingredients. So uh, for the aperitif, um, what I did was I used um, Inferno Bitter out of Brooklyn, New York, brand okay. new product. I uh, did a um, hibiscus, raspberry, and rose infused Tio Pepe wow. uh, sherry with Otto's Athens removed from Greece, wow. um, showcasing the mixed berries, a little bit of guava, um, and some uh, grenadine uh, right. shaken up there, made a bitter sour. Right. And then for the long drink, I chose to do, uh, which is right here in front of you, um, I used the cilantro. Um, That's a beautiful made a, drink. Made a cilantro, thank you. A cilantro simple syrup, uh, fresh pressed apple juice, um, and then uh, sochu from Japan. Yeah which is a real spirit that's starting to trend right now. Right. Um, and then this new gin coming over from Scotland called Rock Rose, it's a navy strength. Right. Um, so it gives a little bit more punch behind it. Right. Um, topped it off with some of the um, Q Indian tonic. That's amazing. Uh, which is really beautiful. Yeah, Q mixes um, are amazing. Oh yeah, and then uh, you know, right there, and then some fresh lemon juice. And then it's all the little touches, right? A little personalized note to each yeah, judge. I love it. Um, homemade Play-Doh, keeping it fun, keeping right. it light, and then stamping it, um, personalizing it to WSW. Right, I love that. So, so the drink, you just ran through the ingredients. What was the inspiration behind it? Like when you get the the ingredients, I mean, do you kind of bring some inspiration to it, or is yeah. it just more of like? your mind just goes and you're like, okay, I'm gonna just start creating. Well, you know, I don't come in with a, a set plan. Right. Um, you know, what you do is you, you let the ingredients talk to you and my style of cocktails is really refreshing, light. I like the word to use the word Moorish. Right. Um, I want more, I want more, I want more. Right. That's what I want my customers or my guests to have. Right. Um, so I like to make them um, really balanced, um, easy drinking right. um, and fun. And yeah. so I try to bring a little bit of fun into every cocktail yeah, that I make. Yeah, absolutely. Well, one of the things that stood out to me as you were running through your ingredients is you know some of the products, um, you know, not necessarily, uh, or not necessarily like mass market or not well known or maybe just emerging. Um, how do you feel like being here at WSWA with a lot of emerging brands that are are looking to get out? Um, how do you feel like that influenced kind of some of your? Absolutely, I, I walk the floor on a regular basis, always looking for a lot of those new brands that are coming out, emerging, right. um, and hence you know something that hasn't even launched. It's the, right. His only market is is in our market. Yeah. Um, so I think it's a great opportunity for people to come um, each year and to see what's going on. And a lot of these brands are listening to what's trending in the industry: right. lower proof, lower alcohol, more or you know, pineapple, which is a big thing, right. passion fruit. So, yeah, you know, and you're seeing that. it on the floor as you're walking with a lot of these smaller brands that are very, uh, you know, they have a good understanding of what's going on in our industry. Right. And they're just trying, looking for an opportunity to get out there. And this is a great opportunity for them. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I'm, as somebody that makes drinks at home, I'm inspired by, by people like you with that creativity. Because, you know, when you're giving ingredients uh, and you have to make a drink, you know, with what you're given, um, that resonates with me because, you know, sometimes the only thing in my pantry is like, I have uh, peanut butter, I have ketchup, and I have <laughs> half yeah. a bottle of something. I have to make something, you know, when my friends come over. But what advice would you give for, you know, the home bartender that, you know, has a lot of random ingredients, anything like a couple takeaways, you know? Sure, I'd say always keep it simple. That's the most important thing. Everything I do, I do from a, a supermarket, so I'm yeah. not overcomplicating things. Um, clean flavors, less ingredients is more impactful, right? Okay. Um, and then, you know, looking at a lot of the health trends, right? So healthier cocktails, right. not healthy cocktails, right? right? So, you know, using tea in a cocktail can add a lot of flavor, making it easy. Right. Um, but don't don't worry about when you see all these crazy techniques that are going on. I think right. sometimes that uh, is cool, but for the home bartender, yeah. keep it simple I love that. and keep it fresh and I enjoy them. Is it, uh, is it off-putting if I try your cocktail right now? Can I? You, you, you absolutely yeah. <laughs> always honored for you to try it, but it's been there for a few minutes, so I, don't, uh, I hope I don't it's not mind. too wide down. I've just been watching this and I'm like, I have to take a sip. <laughs> That is awesome. I'm going to pick your brain later about how you made that cilantro simple syrup because that sounds amazing. Awesome. So after this, like, what's next? Like, so from here, you're winning. 
What's next for, uh, for Troy Clark? Well, you know, the great thing about this is um, it's a great opportunity to showcase our talents, but what I do is I take a lot of the things that I see at WSWA and, and from all my counterparts, and I take that back to our customers and help them make better cocktails for their yeah. guests. That's awesome. Um, and train bartenders and help them do continue to push the boundaries to yeah. be better at what they do and, and bringing that craft spirit, that craft cocktail, that culinary approach. Right but make it so that they can execute at a high level. I love that. Well, I'm definitely going to be following along. I hope, uh, you know, from here and, and like I said, I take a lot of inspiration from you and, and what you're doing. And for somebody that bartends at home and makes drinks, you know, what you guys do in the industry and, and pushing ingredients and, and kind of getting more creative with it, it, it really uh, inspires me to keep on going with what I'm doing. And I'm sure for a lot of the brands here and a lot of people watching, like they're they're inspired by this. This is a beautiful cocktail. So again, congratulations on, Thank on the you win. Thank so much. I really uh, appreciate it. This is WSWA 76. This is Troy Clark, Iron Mixologist winner, carrying two gold medals. I'm going to take this drink once the camera's cut. I'm going to take this and finish <laughs> it. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Cheers.